Hello friends, welcome to I made me think video series tutorial for REST API testing and automation using Java programming and open source tools. So in this video series we were uh, seeing that how we can test the REST APIs using Postman. So we have installed the Postman and it is running now. So let us take a quick look at different options in Postman tool. So this is the main screen or the, this is the user interface for end user. So let us take a quick look at different options. So this this particular window, uh, this particular section is where we can raise the request and get response. So these are the tabs. These are the, in the drop down we will see there are a lot of types of requests which we can raise. A lot of methods are available here. So basics are get, put, post and delete. Others can also be used. This is the place where you'll insert the URL. So right now the URL is google.co.in and parameters. So if you want to pass some parameter in this URL, these are the parameters. So send and send and download. So this will basically download the response. If you just send, it will just hit the request. Save and save as. So we will see this. Basically we can save number of requests as a part of collection and we can execute them in batch save as we'll save it in a particular collection now what is author authorization so we have different types of authorization for example no authorization basic auth or oauth 1.0 2.0 so these authorization details we will see in our next videos so for now these are the options headers so here this is where we will insert our headers for example content type so as our application the user management supports the json format so we will say that content type is json and accept type accept is again the same application json and we can have like cache parameters or different parameters as a part of header prerequisite script so we can have some settings like clear global variable set global variable and so we can have our own script we can write our uh, own uh, small code snippet so that we can make it a uh, make it as a program we have something called test so here also there are a lot of other things are available so currently this is not the scope but we will see some we are just seeing the variables So environment, so we we can have our environment variable here. So manage environment, and then so this is my environment, and in this env environment, I can have my global variables which I can use. For example, I can declare a global variable for a basic path, and then I will just add the API names after the basic path. So we can have our own uh, manage, uh, I mean environment and environment variables. Now runner and import. So this is builder and team library. So this we will see uh, at a later point. So let us see the history part. So if you see the history. So history is uh, something which uh, the APIs which I have called recently. Collection. So as I discussed here if you say save as for example if you want to save this request say put some name and put some description here and save it to some collection so we can we can save all the we can group the test based on the category or based on the website and any of any of the type and we can make it as a collection if it is if you want to save it in existing uh, if you want to save it in existing connection collection it is here if you want to create a new collection just put the name and save so if you see I have uh, three collections here so this is mine this is mine and this is something which is available from postman already so this is the sequence uh, uh, for our scope so we were discussing about uh, testing aspects and se sequence one so for these five APIs this is the sequence which I have stored so get sign up sign up post get activation using get 
post using uh, sign in using post and sign out using delete if you click here the details will appear here so let's see what is this option so so now this option is for this collection so now if you see we we can run all the uh, different uh, steps of this particular collection in one one go so if you say run this all five will execute the other options are like edit copy download and uh, copy a uh, copy to add a subfolder and delete so when you say download and uh, download and then you can give that file to your teammates or something and you can if you want to import some other person's the uh, file then you can just click on import and then you can import from file or folder or different ways same thing if you have imported here you will if you have to you will have to sign in and then once you sign in you will see different team collections and you start executing that so for now let us uh, run a simple uh, http request called this google so as you see this is available in history so i uh, what i'm doing is i'm raising a get request for a simple url uh, google.co.in for our user management application we will so see those in detail but for now let us see that what happens so if you want to raise a get request just select the method you insert the url uh, for now uh, this is not required so it is very simple request hit on send now let us see what happens so now you have received the response so, so first thing to check is the status so you have got 200 that means it's a success response then see the body so body this is the body this is basically an html file this is in pretty format this is an html file pretty format we can see this in raw format or we can have a preview so normally we do not use the raw format we will either go for pretty format or preview so let's take a look at preview so preview is as simple as you are watching it in a web browser so now you see different google.co.in options came here the logo is not yet shown but that's fine so for some reason the the, the postman has crashed but i have relaunched it and i have raised the request once again and so this is the response so let us see the cookies so no cookies fine and header so this is the the live examples where in in the header we'll have a lot of things so cache control content encoding content type so this is an html so text if an html this is the encoding format date and other things so if you have any questions please put them in comments i will try to answer most of them and please like and share the video among your friends thanks for watching